I'm David Brennan. I'm Assistant Director, Cargo Safety and Standards at IATA. I and my team are responsible for the content of the IATA Dangerous Goods Regulations. So I want to take you through what the significant changes that you'll see in the 2020 edition of the DGR. So we produce the DGR every year so that we can keep up with the changes that happen in industry and make sure that the transport of dangerous goods is safe and also efficient. So looking at next year's book, we've made some changes to the restrictions on the movement of certain goods where IATA was previously more restrictive than ICAO. And our airlines looked at that and saw that those restrictions were unnecessary and we've relaxed them and that's providing more options to industry. We've also made some changes around the application of marks. Now many of these marks are actually applied by the use of a label and we're seeing that some inexperienced people don't understand how to correctly apply them and so we've been more specific that they must always appear on one side of a package. They can't be wrapped around the corner. Looking at packing, we've looked at composite packagings and they've become more and more prevalent and yet what we've got in the packing instructions wasn't particularly clear and people didn't understand how to describe them. So we've become much more explicit on that. We've also included an example in section eight so people can see a preferred method of doing that. Competency-based training is another area that's been a lot of discussion and work continues on that. And so Appendix H, which is in this year's edition, has been significantly upgraded and improved because we want to make sure that industry, training providers and employers get good information for when competency-based training does come into effect in 2021. And talking of 2021, what we have in this year's coming edition is an Appendix I, impending changes. So this provides industry with advanced information on the things that they're going to need to comply with as of the 1st of January 2021. So we have changes coming from the United Nations Subcommittee of Experts, and we also have changes that have been adopted by the ICAO Dangerous Goods Panel that will appear in the 2021-2022 edition of that publication. And so what we are able to provide for industry is what we know at the moment that will be changing in 2021 so that industry can get a head start, start planning and be prepared for those changes when they come into effect.